giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah yes, here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him, meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found something else, a vision of Ragnarok. The word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. The champion. I think it's supposed to be... You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We should focus on our egress first.
seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. the right thing. 
and according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous!
See this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. Really? Yes.
Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Steam.
underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah. Sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Twilight Stone give you the angle you need, brother. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. You heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is. It's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> Or enchanted or whatever. Much. 
much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you helped some random enemy. Is this not what you want? No, no, it is. I'm just the size of what you want, too.
there something you're not telling me? No. Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. I'll get you out. What is that name? Well... Thing we saw was so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well. Huh. 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 Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half guffers are known to burrow. So I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. Then let us free it.
the half goofa loose here. It flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here. But I have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.